Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and I'm excited to show you Brackets 1.0. It's an open source code editor for designers and developers, very lightweight, and just launched. In fact, let's dive right into it. You can see it right here with an HTML page already open. Okay, so I can navigate through these various pages, but really I can edit this content. Uh, but I actually want to see what this content looks like. So I'm going to click here, Live Preview Mode as we'll see my page that I'm working on right now it is a responsive page but I want to go ahead and edit this content so I'm going to move this over and I'm going to take a look at brackets because what you have right in here as I start to select these various elements look at these different menu items as I select them you can see they highlight on the web page so I can come in here and type in professional and you can see it updates directly in my browser everything looks great okay so I have this live connection to be able to jump in and make my changes I can see them in the browser I can even take a look at CSS so I can do a command E which is our quick edit mode and I can see all the CSS associated with that specific element so I can come in here and I can change the font size for that nav link so I want to make it 18 point you can see that it made it 18 point right away ah, very large too large but as you can see, I can jump in and start to play with this content or even add to it. So I can type in border radius. You get the idea, changing what I want to change. I've just rounded those corners just like that. And I didn't have to worry about navigating to line 279 on whatever CSS page this is. But I can always go directly to it as I'm doing right now. And I can access more properties. So for this background color, sure, I could see it. I can do Command E. I can pick a different color if I want to, or I go through a previously used color. As you can see right there, I've turned them all green. And uh, again, I can just go with how that looks right now. And I can start to change other elements, like even the background color, which is what I'm doing. Okay, so that's, that's actually easier on my eyes. I like that better and I want to go ahead and continue to edit this some more okay uh, but the fact of the matter is is that this is already designed and basically approved uh, all through using a PSD so this design is already done or the design I'm trying to uh, create is already done in a PSD file so if we take a look at that right in here Creative Cloud Files here's my PSD okay so I'll open this up and really this is the new version okay so this is what got approved and now I need to be able to extract all of this content from this PSD and yes I can jump in and use extract to extract all the images out of this PSD but uh, I want to go beyond that because quite frankly I want to use brackets and use this lightweight code editor to do a lot of the heavy lifting for me okay and even in the case of images check this out I'm gonna go down here here's my ninja sonic image okay and we need to update this to be um, wild leaves instead so I'm just gonna delete that and I'm just gonna start typing in image and I wanna show you what I can do because I want to extract content from uh, that particular uh, PSD so I'm gonna select right over here extract for brackets you'll see that PSD I can select that PSD right here it will render it this is a PSD in brackets that's being rendered out and from here I can extract the images and a lot of other content so as I jump in here oh look here are all the various layers and I can see the entire image either fit it or go 100% you get the idea but what I want to do is for this image I want to extract it uh, now I don't want to just you know have um, brackets start writing the code for me I want to write the code so at this point with that selected if I type in image space oh there it is thank you extract asset it will name it for me uh, what I might think I want the image called uh, and give me an extension which I can even change I can make this a JPEG if I want to okay so I'm hit just um, closing this now and you can see right over here that image uh, this is now not Ninja Sonic, but I can jump in and change that to be Wild Leaves as well. Okay, and even for that text, if I want to change that text, I can jump in there, hit Enter. Uh, instead of using that font family, since if I do have this selected, so again I'm just selecting that text. Oh, that's Lust Script Display. 
And again, of course, I got to make sure I include that, but I've just changed it and I've changed it in the browser too. Okay. So everything is looking actually really, really good. And even going beyond, again, I can get the CSS. I actually love this. I can, I can come in and extract uh, plenty of different items. Like even if I wanted to get the color here, well, again, it's a matter of selecting it and uh, going to that CSS. So if I want to use it for uh, my nav link, like I was doing earlier, okay, I can even jump to that CSS. And instead of using that background color, I want to use this background color just like that and that's done and you can see it update right here okay it's also a different uh, border radius so I can change that as well coming over here border border bottom radius or excuse me left and then so the bottom left and then bottom right very subtle but that's what the designer wanted just a little curve on those corners making it nice and elegant extracting the CSS plus if I select multiple uh, multiple elements so I can select the background and then select uh, the wild leaves for instance look what it does is it gives me it says hey it's uh, 470 two pixels from the top and 340 uh, from the side so I can get those image dimensions and even the percentages and start using those accordingly as well okay and not only that even when it comes to say even extracting multiple images here's three different images that are stacked well if I want to start using those three different images I can do that it will actually extract it as one image okay and you can see them all selected over here Okay, but you can see how quickly you can uh, work with a PSD uh, extracting the content, the CSS, not only that, but even right down here, and this is the last thing I'm going to do for this text, well, this happens to be hipster ipsum. And uh, although it is fun, I actually want to use real text. So uh, right down here, instead of using this text, I can jump in and, you know, with that text selected that I want to use, I can go ahead and use the right text. There it is, just control space bar, adding that text, and you can see that is updated as well. So again, uh, check it out. That's Extract for Brackets, Brackets 1.0 now available for you uh, for free. You can go to brackets.io, check it out for yourself, and uh, have fun coding.